All right, tomorrow's Super Tuesday, and the GOP candidates duking it out over these high gas prices. It started when Newt Gingrich said that he could get prices back below $2.50 a gallon. Now Ron Paul is chiming in. You know, we heard of some of the other candidates say, if I can be president, I'm going to get gasoline down to $2 or $2.50 or down. And I said, yeah, but I can get it down to a dime. <laughs> All right, Ron Paul on the phone with us right now. Ron Paul, you piqued my curiosity. How would you get it down to a dime? All you have to do is uh, price the uh, gasoline in the uh, old silver money, the old dollar, before they gave up on the silver dollar. A silver dime, uh, you know, with uh, uh, it, its actual value is over $3 and maybe more, depending on the day, you know, what the price of silver is on, on that particular day. But, you know, in real money, the gasoline prices are actually going down. And that was what I, you know, used the other day with Bernanke. You know, when he started at the Fed, an ounce of silver bought four gallons of gasoline. Now an ounce of silver buys 11 gallons of gasoline. So it's the money issue. There are other factors, too. I don't deny that supply and demand of the oil is very important, too, and the potential war in the Middle East and with Iran. That, that's really important, too. But, but overall, see, what, when Gingrich says he's going to get down to a couple dollars, He's saying, well, we're going to increase the supply so tremendously we're going to bring it down. But if he doesn't increase the value of the currency, he can't do it. Well, you know, you just hit on something um, that's been a big focus on this show, Congressman. So I don't know whether that might have you change your position on this because it has been a big focus. That the problem isn't escalating oil prices or gas prices. The problem is our weak dollar and the fact that oil being priced in dollars, uh, you need more dollars to, to buy that oil. Having said that, would you revert then to a currency, a gold standard type system where you, you peg the currency to something more solid? Is that what this is about um, yeah. or what? Explain that. Yeah, no, that is what, what it should be. And, of course, I've argued that case for a long, long time. And uh, I think that what we should do in, in this country, because they're not going to change over rather quickly, they're going to wait until it gets much worse, we ought to at least be able to uh, use a parallel currency. Internationally, you can. But internationally, they're still using the dollar predominantly. The people are drifting from the dollar. They're not using the dollar as a reserve as much as they used to. So, and, and there's always these rumors that go around, well, you, you know, Iraq wanted to use uh, the euro or they want to use gold, and, and China wants to use something else. And that's a big deal because that would really play havoc with the dollar. If more and more people left the dollar as a reserve currency, our problem would be much worse. The price is the gas of, of fuel and oil is going to go up much higher in, in terms of, of dollars. So, uh, but no matter But, but, but that dollar we thing, I, I, you're so smart. It's, you can leave me in your wake here. So if you don't mind, the, the problem with the dollar is it probably indicative of the problem in Washington, right? The ability to control our finances, spending much more than we have, and right. we become sort of this global currency laughing stock. The only thing saving us, it would seem, is that there are greater laughing stocks out there. So by <laughs> comparison, we look better. But then if, if Washington doesn't get its act together and get this spending under control, uh, doesn't this mean, regardless, assuming we don't change the, the, what our peg right. is to the dollar, that, that oil, gas is going to get a lot more expensive and that inflation is going to be a lot more of a problem? Absolutely. I, I think that is the case, and that's what I've been warning about. The other thing people don't generally understand is, well, if the oil prices and, and gasoline is going up, other things are going down. You know, you're, you might have yeah, prices go down in, with your computers. So if inflation of the money supply always increased all prices and wages equally, it wouldn't be a big deal. But it goes in different areas, and because energy is so important, it's international, or whether it's the price of uh, the cost of medical care or education or housing, uh, money goes into certain areas and, and boosts these prices more so. But, no, you cannot get control of this if you don't control the dollar. But my argument also is, Bernanke, and the Federal Reserve Chairman said this for the 30 years that I've been around and dealing with this. They always say, well, if Congress didn't spend so much money and have so much debt, we wouldn't have to have such a hard job, you know, protecting the value of, of the dollar. But if the Fed wouldn't monetize the debt, the Congress couldn't spend the money. Right. The there is that. There is that. Uh, Congressman, so, thank you very much. Always good right. having you. Uh, thanks a lot. Ron Paul.